school district is looking to modernize their facilities, but they have to be able to pay for it. Two districts are looking to be flush with resources to upgrade if voters pass some bond restructuring. Our Jay Burr joins us now. And Jay, how much are districts around here looking to bring in exactly? Well, both PCSSD and LRSD are having elections to restructure bonds. And between both districts, they're looking to yield close to $400 million for capital improvements across both districts. The Pulaski County Special School District is hoping to pass a bond restructure issue to free up around $85 million for capital improvements across the district. Superintendent Dr. Charles McNulty said the pandemic has shown them there are some further needs to be addressed. It heightened the good things we do and it certainly opened up opportunities in our infrastructure. There are plans for elementary school expansions across the district, a new transportation pound, athletic facilities at Mall Mill and Mills High Schools, and a massive expansion at Robinson High. It's all about providing uh, educational experiences for our students, both uh, co-curricular and academic, that give them the opportunity to have the, uh, the best lived experience they can have. Little Rock schools are doing the same thing, but to the tune of $300 million. Superintendent Dr. Michael Poor says people need to be aware nothing changes with their taxes. It's just like your house. If you haven't refinanced your house and you took a mortgage on in 2010, 12, you didn't refinance, you're losing money because you're paying at a higher rate than you need to. Voters we spoke with in LRSD agree the aging buildings and infrastructure needs in the district have to be addressed as the average age of buildings is over 65 years. We need to improve our facilities for students. Uh, some of the facilities are uh, in the same situation when I left in 1973. One woman we spoke with said the key was improvements would be felt across the entire district and will help with recruitment. I think it's going to bring in more students to our district because they're going to see that LRSD cares about the buildings and, they, and in turn cares about the students that come to, the, to those buildings. This will be the third attempt at a restructure since 2017 for LRSD, with each vote getting closer to a majority in favor. Dr. Poor is saying he won't be able to rest easy until the results are in. Hey, we don't have to wait till tomorrow. I'm nervous now. And the North Little Rock School District also having a vote on their millage as well. It's simply to extend the current millage, and they will be keeping operations as normal.